We've got a tip off that Ahmad Latif is meeting his friends here for lunch at Nasreen. So let's just see if we can join him and get a little scoop on him. I remember the year 2007. I was preparing myself for a trial to go to Woodlands Wellington for trial. And I remember that there was uh, a lot of people were telling me that if you go trial, there is this player called Ahmad Latif, and he's one of the legends in Singapore. Latif, uh, brilliant guy. He's a, he's a brilliant guy, both on and off the pitch. Yeah, on the pitch, he, he's, I, I feel he's the best player in Singapore. Okay, and off the pitch, he's a good motivator. Yeah, and he's very funny, very funny, really very funny. He's achieved a lot of things in, you know, overseas, even local. So, for me to play with him, consider it's a privilege. I'm quite proud to, you know, be beside him, playing with him. Latif, you've been in the spotlight since you were 16 years old. It's football, your life. What has that been like for you? I was in the uh, Milo Soccer School at the point of time, where there's been like under 12, under 15, so I've been progressing from there on. Uh, from club that we had this line city cup. Actually, I was from Tampines Youth, so uh, where I didn't get much of the, the playing chances, right? So I went to Geylang. I told myself that uh, I would fight for my place, uh, although I'm young, right? So. Uh, when, when we are on the field, age doesn't matter, you see? As long as you work as a team and uh, you work your socks off. How's life been like uh, for a footballer? It's been up and down as well and it's been fun playing as a, being as a footballer. I mean, I've been in and out of the country playing overseas as well, so it's a good experience exposure for me as well. When you are overseas, right, you play other, uh, with other teams in other countries, you, you learn like new environment new culture and new style of place. So let's talk about your most memorable moment in football. Memory would be like in 1998, uh, the Tiger Cup where we won the, for the first time, right? So I was only, what, 17, 18 years old, playing with all these uh, so-called senior players, experienced players. And uh, it's quite, it's been quite an experience for me, lah, you know, uh, where at, at a, such a young age, eh, I, I, I've won uh, uh, a cup for Singapore. Who's your favourite local player? Uh, it's, actually, there's no favourite soccer players, local soccer players. I only look up to uh, how they, they, they play on the field, but mostly it'll be like Fandi Ahmad. Lah. So you played for Fandi Ahmad before, right? So yeah. how's that experience been like for you? We had so, so much fun. and. Uh, the players themselves knew that uh, uh, we wanted to play for him. He's been a good coach. I mean, uh, he's, he's not just a coach. Uh. He's like a, a friend, a, a buddy, you know, you can talk to and uh, you can ask anything uh, to him and he will, he will try his best to explain and uh, show what he can do. All right, Latif, going a little bit off topic here, I just want to get to your hairstyle. You're really groomed, I can tell, like, you know, you've got your hair done up. Can you just tell us more about your hairstyle? And after I finish my army, right? Uh, I don't have any black hair at all. <laughs> I only been keep on colouring, colouring, colouring until now. So, uh, it's, it, I, I don't know, it's like, I don't prefer black hair. So, once in a while, yeah, I have to, like, when, when Hari Raya or something, right, you have to be black hair. Then, <laughs> the colouring I do myself. I don't go to the saloon and do expensive. Uh. <laughs> so you love fashion, right? I can tell you. Yeah. Yeah. I tried to be like to be something different, you know, your your own style, you see. So, uh, yeah, that's it. I, I look around to to all the peoples and uh, mix and match, huh? Could you just share with us something that we don't know about Latif? Usually, he spends most of his time with his son, and usually his wife. You know, fly around. So most of his time is with his son. So when he's overseas, he misses his son a lot. That's the part where he made a call to his son, his only son. And actually he broke down in tears. Yeah. But he tried to hide it so we never see him. 
he can be a hairstylist uh, because he, he, style, he styles his hair quite well and he do it, do it on his own, you, you see? He buy all the ingredients, then after I go back, he'll do it on his own. He don't bother going to the salon and everything. He found out that I have uh, my own restaurant here, so he's been supporting me for quite some time. He's one of my very regular customers. It's a pleasure to have him in my restaurant. Whenever he comes, I see a lot of people recognize him. I ever remember that even the, my local staff was asking to take an autograph or I mean, take a picture of him.